So what is the best video editing software for Mac or PC? Well, I'm going to talk about that in this video and specifically I'm going to talk about PC. If you want to find out what's the best video editing software for Mac, you can watch the next video or click the link in the description. I'm also going to teach you how to get the best value package too. So on this channel, we help you get the best out of your video editing and your filmmaking. So if you want to learn more about the latest tech reviews or filmmaking hacks, make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell to make sure you stay in the loop with our latest videos. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk budget, ease of use, and the feature set. I know a lot of you are getting into filmmaking and video editing for the first time, and lots of you will have different types of budgets that you're looking into. So my advice would be, uh, let's talk about the budget section first, because if you're getting into video editing and you've never done it before, I wouldn't recommend going for a super expensive video editing package until you know you know you're really in love with the filmmaking process. So first of all, let's talk about the free software that's available for PC. Now, there used to be something called Windows Movie Maker that was built into uh, Windows. It was always kind of average, it kind of looked a bit dated, and Windows have actually cancelled it, so you can no longer get that, get that on Windows 10. Uh, what they've done now, if you open up your Photos app, there's now a video editing section within there. So if you wanna just simply do a piece of camera like I'm doing now, and you just wanna chop the end off or, or sort of cut out the bits where you, you mess up, that may be good enough for you. You know, it can edit, I believe, up to 4K. Um, so if you're just doing some basic video editing, that could be the way to go. Uh, if you want to move up a level, we have um, Avid Media Composer first. Now, Avid Media Composer is actually used all around the world in professional studios uh, and film studios too. So it's one to look at if, if, if that's the sort of industry that you want to get into. If you want to get into the professional film market, even though I think Avid Media Composer is, is being left behind a little bit, it's not as popular as, say, Premiere or Final Cut, it's still very much used in the industry at Editor's Keys, it's still our best-selling keyboard. So they have this free version called Avid Media Composer First. It's a little bit limited, but it will teach you the basics of Avid Media Composer. You can still put a video together, you can still get it out for YouTube. Uh, it's free to download, and I'll put a link in the description for that one. Now next, it's um, DaVinci Resolve. If you want to do a little bit of color correction, if you want to get more into that area, DaVinci Resolve is also free, and it's incredible that software like this is available for free. Um, what I would say the pros and cons are for DaVinci Resolve is that obviously the biggest pro is that it's free, it looks very nice. Just from a user usability point of view, I think it makes it a little bit easier than Media Composer to jump into. But with that said, it has so many pages now. It has an ingest, it has a cut page, it has an edit page, it has stuff for color correction, stuff for audio correction. So it can be seriously overwhelming. I mean, if you want to do this as a full-time job, get it, because you know there's nothing that the program can't really do for free. So that's DaVinci Resolve. We'll put a link in the description below if you want to check that one out. Now, the next one I want to talk about is Adobe Premiere. Now, this is a firm favorite of us here at Editor's Keys. It's not free. Um, you can sign up for different packages. I'll put a list of the different packages because there's certain ways you can save money. If you're a student, there's a specific student discounted package where you can get the entire Creative Cloud series for half the price. So if you are interested in maybe doing some After Effects work, if you need to do some Photoshop to create your thumbnails for videos like this, it's certainly worth considering the Adobe Creative Cloud package. But Premiere is, to be honest, I think one of the best at the moment. It's what we use here at Editor's Keys. We have keyboards for Adobe Premiere as well to help you edit a bit faster. The reason I love Premiere, if you're really thinking of getting into filmmaking professionally and you want to do this either as a career or you just want to put out YouTube content on a sort of daily or weekly basis, it's constantly updated. It can work perfectly with the other Adobe apps like Adobe After Effects. If you want to do some additional special effects, you can use it directly uh, with the link within After Effects. You just kind of right click a clip and it can go straight in and pull it back out. If you're cleaning up audio, you can right click the audio and take it into Audition, clean it up and it just comes back into Premiere perfectly. So if you want to learn Adobe Premiere, there's lots of great training online. Uh, we have a ton of videos on this channel, but we also recommend people like um, Premiere Gal, she's a good friend of ours, and she can teach you Premiere from start to finish. So let me know, what, what are you filming? What are you editing? Where do your final videos want to end up? 
leave a comment in the section below here and I'll get back to every single question because as I say, sometimes the, the best video editing software may not be the best video editing software for you. But let me know, I'd love to see your thoughts and then watch the next set of videos. This is for PC and Mac and iOS. We've got the whole series here. So whatever you're using will help you find the best video editing software. See you in the next one.